welcome again to another episode of Don't Know, Ask Father Tuzo. First question for today, is a priest obligated to celebrate Mass every day? Well, the quick answer is no, at least not under canon law. He's not obligated to celebrate every day. Canon number 276 states from the category under obligation and rights of clerics. In leading their lives, clerics are bound in a special way to pursue holiness, since having been consecrated to God by a new title in the reception of orders, they are dispensers of the mysteries of God in the service of his people. So while not obligated under law, a priest promises to pursue holiness, to serve the people, and to pray. What better way to do all these than to celebrate the sacrifice of the Holy Question two, what does a priest promise at his ordination? Since we just had an ordination here in the diocese a few weeks ago, and last month I just celebrated a year of priesthood, I thought I would go over this with you. Now this is for diocesan priests, priests who are ordained to a particular diocese for service to that diocese and the bishop. And there are three of them. First, to pray. To pray daily the divine office, the liturgy of the hours. Priests promise that. They promise to obey the bishop and his successors. And third, they promise to live a life of celibacy and chastity. Now these are the three promises we make when we're ordained. Now these are different than, say, a religious order priest, who may promise the three evangelical councils, which are poverty, chastity, and obedience. Next question. I see some priests who wear rings. Why? Well, in the Catholic Church, we see rings or we use rings to signify one's vocation. And of course, the most well-known is that of rings to signify the sacrament of matrimony. The ring symbolizes the unity of the couple and gives them a daily reminder of their solemn commitment to one another. So in the same manner, some priests wear a ring as a reminder of their daily commitment to the church. Religious sisters also sometimes wear rings as part of their habit as spouses of Christ. And the most familiar rings are worn by bishops. They are worn as a symbol of authority, the authority bestowed upon them by the Pope. Next question. Can a priest be married or get married? Now, yes, there are some priests who are married. It's rare, especially in the Roman Rite, to which we belong. Now, there are some Eastern Rites and others, like, for instance, the Byzantine Rite, that will ordain men that are already married. There also, on another occasion, happens when there's a married pastor or priest from another denomination, like, say, for instance, Anglican, that converts to Catholicism then this man who is already married could be ordained as a Catholic priest. And the key term here is already married. Now a priest, once ordained, may not marry or remarry. Next question. During Mass, when the priest offers the bread and wine and the people respond, blessed be God forever. Well, the question is, how is it possible for us, for humans, to bless God? Well, the first has to do with linguistics. The translation comes from Latin. Benedictus Deus in Seucura. Benedictus in Latin means to speak well or favorably of someone. Bene means well. Dictus means say or speak. So what we mean when we say blessed and the phrase blessed be God forever, is that it's well that God should be forever praised. Next, we can theologically look at this and distinguish the difference between God's intrinsic glory and his external glory. Intrinsic glory, it's true, we cannot add or take away, nor can anyone or anything take away from God's intrinsic glory. God is perfect. He's glorious, complete within himself. He has no need of our praise. But externally, we can add to the spread of the glory of God externally. 
We do this by reflecting this glory in our lives. Spread it by living lives of holiness, being generous, and living according to God's truth. So, it is in this sense external. We can understand the phrase, blessed be God forever. To me, may God's external glory be extended and experienced in all places for all times. Thanks again. I want you to keep the questions coming, and I pray that you all are remaining safe. God bless.